David TV. Please subscribe. This video is sponsored by Camera. That's right, guys, and we're all decked out in our Harry Potter gear. Kids have their Ravenclaw. Well, Lana yeah. has David's TV shirt on because she doesn't have a Harry Potter. I don't have shirt. Harry Potter. And I have my Slytherin shirt on, and we're about to show you one of the coolest toys we've ever played with. Right, guys? Right, yeah. yes. It's like having real magic. It's an actual Harry Potter magic wand that teaches you how to code. And the reason why you want this toy is guess what? The same reason why your parents should buy this, because this wand teaches you how to actually code software. Right, guys? Right. Yay! Yeah. All right, let's show them what's in the box. Look at that. Look how beautiful it is. It's fancy. Isn't yeah. this called taffeta? I wouldn't know. No, it's so pretty. It's but like I know what great that presentation. Is. That's a circuit board or PCB for printed circuit yeah. board. How to make a coding wand and it tells you about all the parts and how to assemble your wand All right, it's so easy even a six-year-old can do it right guys. We happen to have a six-year-old here with us, right? Yep, me! All right, so here we go ready. Dylan's gonna put the button in. It's as simple as that. Okay, Jagger, what piece was this? Do you remember what this is called? Um, the computer chip. That's right, the circuit board. That's the center that knows how you move your magic wand. Okay, Jagger, put the circuit board in. Good. Perfect, that was easy. Daddy will take the cover. Put the cover on and look, guys. I'm gonna press the button. Press it. And there our <gasps> wand is on. Oh my gosh, it's turning on. Look at so that. Now, we're gonna go over to the computer and show you how all this works. But we're gonna need something first. Because we've got a Harry Potter wand and we don't have a Harry Potter yet. Oh. Cast your spell, a parasita! <gasps> oh my god! Look at that, Dylan! Grab it! It's a Gryffindor rope! It's Harry Potter's house! Yeah! Let me put this on you! That is so cool! Look at that! How's that feel on? Really good. <laughs> do, you think you have magic, do you think you have magical powers? Look at this. Oh! Well, yeah, because he's holding the coding wand. So, yeah, for sure. Okay, we're going to move to the computer. And we're going to show you all the software and how the wand works. And then we're going to do this awesome challenge that we thought of. It's called Coding in Real Life with Harry Potter. And if you're really smart, you'll be able to figure out the challenge. The software has Harry Potter's world on it. This all by seven day challenges. Inspired by the Wizarding World. The wand works with all computers and tablets with Bluetooth connections. Look at all these iconic locations. Let's start at Honeydukes. Honeydukes, Big Beans, Bitty Beans. Swell and Shrink, Bernie Pots, Every Flavor Beans. Start. Let's control the size of some Bernie Pots, Every Flavor Beans by waving your coding wand. Open the events tray. Done. Drag the block onto your code space. Done. Open the objects tray. Get this. Connect it to this block. Done. Change the 10 to the 20. I just click on the 10. Two. Oh. Done. Open the wand tray. Drag the block onto your code space. Done. Change the medium to short. Short. And then there we go. It's so easy to code with this block language. Even I can do it. The warren recognizes dozens of spells. According to the code, when I move the wand up, the beans should grow. Here we go. Whoa. Oh my God, this is so much fun. Oh my God, the beans are so big, I can't even see the screen. If we can grow them, then we should be able to shrink them. I'm going to write the code to shrink them. This, that, that. And then we go to objects. This, easily place this, do this, shrink, and then we're gonna change this to 20. Done. And now we just need to do one, and then we need, let's do the LED color. This looks cool. Attach that, let's change the color. 
So instead of vibrating the wand, you're gonna make it change color? Yeah. Oh, so cool. You have the creative freedom to do whatever you want when you know how to code, right, Jagger? Yes, the blue. I'm gonna make this grow and shrink. Grow, grow, shrink, shrink, and shrink. When you complete challenges, you get items for your avatar. There's also games you can play Once you make a creation, you can actually save that creation into Cano World. So I'm gonna one, Beans from Nothing. Now watch this. You can go into Cano World, and there's my Beans from Nothing creation right here. And look at all these other creations other users have made. That you can edit and play with. Henry's flying forward, smoke on the water, fireworks, what a kerfuffle. Beans, you say? Who loves chocolate frogs? This is a Harry Potter magic wand that's gonna teach your kids how to code. It's $99.99. You can get it from the Canna website. We'll leave the link in the description. What parent wouldn't want to get their kids this when they can learn how to code for under $100? Guys, I was a software engineer for 15 years. It opened up tons of doors for me. Learning how to code is a crucial life skill that you want to have. We've been playing with this for hours, and now that they know the fundamental skills of how to code, we are going to challenge them, and we're going to do coding in real life. Do you think they can do it? Yes. All right, let's do know. it. Let's try it. All right, here we are, coding in real life challenge. Yeah. We've recruited Avion and Summerlin, the boys' cousins, and they're gonna help. So here it is, guys. I'm a robot, and this challenge is called Robot Jelly Bean Challenge, right? Right. So I'm the robot, and if you look, there's a grid here with nine squares, okay? I'm gonna be inside the grid as the robot. Your goal is to control me to move 10 jelly beans from that square into this cup, okay? Yes. And in order to do that, you're gonna use two coding instructions. One's called move, and one's called do, okay? Do? Yeah, and mommy's gonna write them on the board yeah. for you, and then you're gonna write the instructions, and then when you wanna run the program, you say, all right, let's run the program, and I'll execute whatever code you guys put. And we'll see if it gets the jelly beans in the cup. You guys understand? Yeah! All right. Hey, does this sound like fun? Yeah! All right, just to explain to you how this works a little bit better so you can follow along at home, is let's practice one of the moves, okay? In order to tell the robot which direction to move, we've written down the directions on the grid. North, east, west, and south, okay? In order to control the robot, you're gonna tell it to move in what direction and how many steps, okay? So the direction will be north, east, south, or west. And the number of steps can be zero, one, two, three, four, infinity, whatever, it doesn't matter, okay? So like this. So just, move yep, move north, north two, two steps. You don't have to write steps, honey. Okay. All right, so I'm the robot. I'm starting at the jelly beans, okay? Each scoop of the jelly beans carries two jelly beans, okay? Kay. Now, just to explain to you how this works a little bit better, look, if you were to write move north two, Okay, I've got my jelly beans here in my little scooper, and I'm gonna move north. One, two, that's your first instruction. First instruction's over, okay? okay. You think you can do this? Yeah. yeah. What, are you trying to get all of them to the cup? 10 to the cup. Okay, who's ready to suggest? Okay, hold on, hold on. Jagger, what do you think the first step should be? Um, move east two steps. Okay, mommy, write it down. Mm -hmm. We'll go in order of age, youngest to oldest. Okay, like because the end gets harder. Two. Two. Okay. Okay, here it is. Now, Where Dylan, Dylan, what do you think the next step should be? Um, move north two. Okay. Okay. Now, just to let you know, if the robot gets to the cup, he's gonna dump him in the cup. Okay. Sami, you're up next. What do you think the next step should be? Move south two times. Okay, and why? What? Do you, where am I going next? You're going back to the jelly bean. Yeah, because I just dropped two off, maybe? Yeah. Okay. Now, Aviana, according to the first three instructions, what do you think the fourth instruction should be? Move west two times. All right. That sounds good. All right, so now, let's execute this program. Ready? Okay, okay are you ready, Mr. Robot? All right, guys. Guys, do you think you did it? Yeah! All right. Okay. So, okay, Robot's going to follow the instructions. Robot, move east two. E, e, e. Uh. Robot, move north two. 
E, 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 e. Remember what I said when the robot gets in the cup, he's gonna drop the jelly beans, right? Instruction number three, move south to. E, e, I'm a good robot. Instruction four, move west to. Oh, I'm gonna pick up two more jelly beans. All right, guys, now. Here's where the power of coding comes in, right? We could repeat all four of those instructions. How many more times to get 10 if I do two each? Um, um, or how many times total would I have to do that? Five. Five times, which means we'd have 20 lines of code, right? Huh. But watch this. Pay attention at home. Mind blown, watch. See this do X number of times? We're gonna put that at the top, and we're gonna say do five times, okay? And the computer, in this case the robot, is gonna do this. One, two, three, four. Oh, that was one time. Go back to the top. One, two, three, four. Two times. Go back to the top. One, two, three, four. Three to four. The five times. And ten jelly beans go in the cup and you guys win! Okay, Guess what? you guys ready? You only added one more line of code for that. You didn't have to have 20 lines, you only have five. Do you see that loop? Yeah. Does it make sense? Yeah. Do you see the power of it? Yeah. The coding in real life challenge. Guys, okay. I don't think that they would have been able to do this if they didn't play with that block coding language. That is so true. We have 